The Autonomous Administration of North and East Syria has implemented a series of measures designed to prevent the spread of the novel coronavirus, including the holding of public information campaigns, the cancellation of public events, the closure of schools, universities, and institutes, the widespread sterilization of public places, and, most recently, the announcement of a full quarantine and ban on travel, the result of which we can see here in this closed marketplace. However, there is concern that the already strained medical system in northeastern Syria is ill-equipped to handle a coronavirus outbreak should it happen here. Currently, the only effective way to test for coronavirus is to use a polymerase chain reaction, or PCR test, which works by taking a small sample of DNA and amplifying it to study it further. The only PCR testing machine in the region is in the hospital in the city of Serikani, which fell under the occupation of invading Turkish forces in October of last year, and is therefore inaccessible to the autonomous administration. The embargo on these areas, imposed by surrounding governments and silently tolerated by the United Nations, will further increase the difficulties experienced during a potential coronavirus outbreak. In January of this year, the only UN aid crossing into northeastern Syria was closed, meaning that all future aid will have to travel through Syrian regime-held areas before it reaches the autonomous administration. This means that all cases requiring testing must be sent to Damascus, which then sends them to the World Health Organization. This further prolongs the process of testing and diagnosis. Luckily, all cases tested in this manner thus far have come back negative. Though the people seem receptive to the administration's measures thus far, it is uncertain how they will cope should the virus spread throughout the region.